Hey yo YouTubies, welcome back to the Cosmic Series. As you can see, I have a new setup here. We have upgraded from the space corner to the space sofa. How do you like it? I like it because it gives me more space. No pun intended. Not just because I could flail my arms more around, but like the universe, it's vast. Honestly, I was starting to feel a little claustrophobic in the corner, so I thought it'd be nice to switch it up a bit. I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend Bude. Thank you for letting me use your music. You can check out his dreamy meditative music on his Spotify, YouTube, Instagram. I'll include links to his music in the description box below. He's a very talented musician, so please support him. Now, on to the good stuff. Star making. I would like to show you some tools and techniques you can use to help make your paintings twinkle. Lego. So we have three different tools we're going to talk about. One, the toothbrush, our all song hero. You may have noticed that I've used this a lot in my space paintings, and I'll go more in depth into how I use this. Number two, the sponge. And number three, our lovely paintbrushes. The toothbrush is a great tool for creating randomly generated stars. First, we're going to dab our toothbrush in the white paint. Add a tiny bit of water to the toothbrush and place your thumb on the thickest part of the toothbrush. Flick upwards, but aim downwards. Move your hand around the canvas. Don't forget the sides as well to help create this illusion of a full, vast space. While flicking, you can use your hand as a shield to help contain the flicking to the area that you want. The sponge is great for creating a stardust effect or a cluster of stars in one area. I recommend getting a sponge like this one used for ceramics and pottery. It's good for soaking up water and paint very easily. Spread a thin layer of white paint on your paint palette. Gently dab the edge of the sponge on the white and dab around your canvas. You can also make a kind of a spiral effect to your stardust, and that way you can make your own stardust galaxy. If you feel like you oversaturated your stars, meaning there's too many stars in one area, go ahead and get some black paint and just paint over again. This technique is exact opposite of generating random stars. We can create stars in a controlled environment, placing them one by one. It's a good idea to use a thin and narrow brush for this. We're going to dab the tip of the brush in the paint and just start stippling around the canvas. Organized chaos, I call it. You can change the size of the star by switching brushes or applying different amounts of force, but I typically try to keep them small because if they're too large, they start to look a little bit too unrealistic and that's not the feel I'm trying to go for. Try not to rush and just take your time to enjoy this relaxing process. Adding variety to your stars helps to create a more interesting painting. Using the paintbrush, we can make it seem like the stars are exploding in the distance. Again, we're going to use the thin, narrow brush. Start with a regular individual star and slowly make it bigger. Draw a line upwards and thin it out at the very end. Then start stretching out the rays. Start from north, then move on to east, south, and then west. Next, we're going to connect the rays with the star a little bit more, and we'll do that to each side. Once again, you can always just clean it up if you mess up with some black paint.
Hey, you might make a wish come true with these stars. We're going to use both a flat brush and the thin narrow brush. Something like this would do. A fan brush would be ideal. First, we're going to place a star here and make it a little bigger, slowly. What we're going to do is get the flat brush, stretch your brush along the canvas, try to use one long stroke. Reduce your pressure at the end. Create an arch shape upwards. You can see the layers of the trail appear. These are the bristles of the paintbrush. With this, it follows the same flicking technique as the toothbrush, but we will add a little bit more water. I recommend a thick and wide brush. Go through the same procedure. Use your thumb or any other finger to flick upwards while pointing downwards. This method is good for Jackson Pollock fans. Playing with color. The typical star colors are white, but as you can see in this NASA photo, there's other star colors. Why don't we experiment with them? Blue, yellow, pink, green, purple. You can add any color really. And with these colors, you can mix and match all of the techniques that we've been using today to create a colorful galactic painting of stars. If you have any tools or techniques that work for you, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Let's learn more from one another. If you do create some stars using this video, please tag me at MeishiArt on Instagram. And I'll feature them in the next art video. And of course, I would love to see all your beautiful creations. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell for all that good stuff. Stay colorful. Bye.